Dying Light 1 is a great horror game. The elements of survival mixed with running away from volatiles still send goosebumps down the spine. But in Dying Light 2 volatiles are dumb, badly chase you and you literally can't be scared because you're holding 1k damage scythe. I have your attention now. Good. Life is scary. It's always going on, even if you don't participate in it. The events will eventually touch you anyway. Even if you run away and live in the forest, life still happens for you. A deer might run away. A dog might bite your hand when you try to pet it. The deer had one simple primal thought. Run away. The dog had one simple primal thought. Fight or flight. We as humans, once such thing happens, our brains are flooded with emotions, thoughts and consequences come into our brain. We try to rationalize our behavior saying I just wanted to pet it, not trying to figure out why the dog beat us. The years go by, time is not stopping and even if earth stops, we don't stop aging. And imagine what a strong force could stop earth and yet the same force couldn't stop time itself. We have a limited time here. The meaning of our actions is defined by ourselves, but what if we don't see the meaning in our lives? How meaningful was the attempt to run away? How meaningful was the bite or the deer? How meaningful are we if these things weren't important? Nier Automata is a masterpiece. No matter how narratively strong a new game goes out, it still can't beat. The gameplay as well as the soundtrack are absolute top tier in gaming, but the story is an experience you can never find anywhere else. The intro is relevant to however you might interpret the story, yet it's relevant to how I see it and the thoughts that flood me whenever I just think about the game. I don't want to spoil it to you, but trust me, it takes repeated playthroughs to understand it. And one small tip, once you finish the game and unlock ending A, just press continue to unlock the rest. It has 5 main endings, but don't worry, it's linear, so you don't have to do the most cryptic side quest ever to unlock these things, like in Dark Souls. But it's an experience, you can't find the same game anywhere and even predecessors like Nier Replicant or Dragon Guard don't even come close. At first, you might have fun playing as a nicely shaped booty robot, killing some other robots, but once you finish the game, you won't have the same thoughts anymore. The game made me cry, and I'm not saying it in a sense that I was crying during the ending. It made me genuinely cry while I was just laying in bed days after I finished it. I can't listen to soundtrack without shedding a tear. I can't play this game without knowing what will happen because it's basically engraved in my memory. There is no Halloween special, just play your automata. That's the true horror experience you were seeking for.